Hello and welcome back to another YouTube video with me, Kat Methan. If you are here all the time, welcome back. If you are a new subscriber, then welcome to another one of my flows. So today is going to be all about being strong and stretchy. So though we're going to be really opening up through the body, through these beautiful stretches, it's going to be a strong practice as well. Uh, just so you know that if you enjoy practicing with me, I do have a Soul Sanctuary membership, which is a monthly membership where you get yoga and meditation all taught by me and access to a really beautiful community of amazing like-minded people. I will leave the link below and you can check it out if you wish. Right, we're going to get straight on into it today. So we're going to start on all fours and we're just going to take a moment to ground here. So just staying in this static position, drawing up through the core. So we want to be engaged through that core. So we've got this beautiful line through the tailbone all the way through the crown of the head. And close your eyes. Just feel that connection, your hands into the mat, your shins, the tops of your feet, the knees. Again, just connecting down into the mat. So it's such a simple place it looks like to be, but actually we're really engaging here and activating through those core muscles, through the shoulders as well, as we arrive into our practice today. And let's take one nice big releasing breath to start our practice. Inhale through the nose. And let it out through the mouth. Start to warm up through some cat-cow. Inhale as you lift the chest. Exhale as you round through the spine. Option if you want to, maybe you want to take it around in circles. Going in both directions. Really opening here. If you want to just stay with that traditional cat-cow, if that's where you're feeling for today, then by all means stay there. And just take a moment as well, just to pad forwards and backwards, side to side through the wrists, just giving the wrists a little bit of love, a bit of a warm up. Maybe working around in circles. And again, going the other way. Okay, you're going to shift those knees back and come to Anahatasana. So reach the hands forwards, come to our melting heart pose. Option to come up onto the fingertips. Now, be mindful here of not just collapsing down. Like I said, this is a strong stretch. So we're going to be super active through lots of these stretches. So even though we're getting this big, beautiful opening under the arms, through the chest and the shoulders, we are really strong through those arms as well. Lifting up through the core and engaging with that Ujjayi breath. Two more breaths here. And then slowly bringing yourself up into a downward facing dog. So bottom lifts high, feet are about hip width apart. Take a little bit of time here. What is it that you need? Stretching out through the backs of the legs, maybe pedaling the feet, maybe a shake, a nod of the head. And now let's find that length through the spine as we bend the knees. Now how bent can you get the knees? Can you bring your belly down all the way onto your thighs? And then starting to straighten those legs. Just take them to wherever you can. This is a really great practice to get into where you bend the knees. The spine is long. The upper body does not move as you start to straighten the legs. And the moment you feel the spine start to round, you know that you've straightened your legs probably a little bit too far. Start to walk the feet into the center of the mat. Bring the hands in as well. Feet are hip width apart. Interlace hands behind the back. And just allow those arms to drop over towards the mat. Shift the weight towards the front of the feet. Option just to stay here or to shift side to side. So left shoulder comes to left knee, taking it over to the right. 
back to the left and then back to the right again and then release those hands all the way down. Start to bend through the knees. So get super low here. The feet are still hip width apart. Interlace the hands again behind the back. Now use that interlace to draw the chest open. So you're staying low into this squat, kind of like a modified Utkatasana. Lift the chest up, open through the heart. Be mindful of just collapsing into the lower spine. You want to be activating through the core. And then a little challenge here to come up onto the toes. Find that balance. But stay that, keep with that hinge in the hips and the hinge through the knees. And release it all down, forward fold. Have a little shift side to side. And we're gonna go for one more like that. So as you start to peel the body up, deep bend through the knees, hinge in the hips, interlace hands behind the back, draw the shoulders away from the ears, chest opens, and maybe you hover and float up onto the balls of the feet. Holding here, stay with the breath. And then cascade forwards into your Uttanasana. Place the hands near the top of the mat, step it all the way back, downward facing dog. Inhale, step that right foot high up to the sky, open the hips, keep the shoulders square. Option to bend that top knee. So we're getting this nice big opening through the groin, through the hips, and then maybe a little added stretch through the quads of that right leg. On an inhale, step the right foot between the hands. Open the right arm up to the sky, easy twist. Now we're gonna revolve it into revolve skandhasana. So coming onto the knife edge, the outside edge of both feet, drop the left hip down. Inhale, lift the hips, lift the arm. Exhale, drop it down. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, drop it down. Inhale, pivot all the way around. Place that hand down, frame the foot. Pick up the back heel and then come all the way to a high lunge. Now, I want you to be in a pretty wide high lunge. So if you found yourself kind of like this, step that back foot back slightly and get low. Remember, we are stretching and opening through these postures. Left arm reaches forwards, right arm reaches back. Come to find a twist, gaze behind you. Inhale, find length. Exhale, can you twist a little deeper? Place the right hand down just softly on the back leg for a revolved reverse warrior. Gazing towards that back foot if you can, or maybe gazing up to the sky. And then windmill, float those hands all the way down, frame the front foot, drop the back knee down, heel toe, that right foot out, and then come down to find a lizard. Maybe you're up on the hands and you just find a little bit of movement here. Maybe you drop it all the way down to the forearms. So wherever you're at, just checking in with the lower body. How's everything feeling today? And maybe taking that right hand onto the right knee, gazing up to the sky. Option to stay here. Or if you want to take that stretch a little further and add in again that strength element, heel toe the foot in ever so slightly. Take the right shoulder underneath the right leg. Pick up the back knee and see if you can hover the arms off the mat here. So you've got your flying lizard. And then no matter where you are, wherever you're at, place the hands back down. Heel toe that right foot back into the center line and then drop the back knee down. Come to find Ardha Hanumanasana, half split. Inhale, lengthen through the chest and then exhale, maybe finding a forward fold. Doesn't matter if you don't get this forward fold part here. Just stay nice and lifted and lengthened through the chest, through the spine. 
Keeping this right foot flexed, drawing that right hip back into the body. As you inhale, you're going to push forwards and come to find a standing split on the right leg. Take that left leg high. Beautiful. Maybe you start to take that right hand around the right ankle. Left leg lifts even higher. Stay with those Ujjayi breaths. And then with control, dropping that back leg down, lower the back knee down and just come to find a, a low lunge. Reach the arms up. Draw yourself away from the lunge. So naturally you're gonna wanna just go to here. I invite you to bring yourself away, engage the glutes. Inner thighs come together, lift up through the core and then move into it. Stay nice and lifted. Maybe gazing up to the sky. Three more breaths here. The option to take the left hand down, bring the back foot in and open through the quads and the hip flexors a little bit more. Options, options. Keep breathing here. And then slowly unraveling, frame that right foot, pick up the back knee, send it back to plank, holding in your plank. Now we're gonna take a few little circles. You're gonna think about circling the shoulders around in one direction for one, two, and three. And then go back the other way for one, two, and three, beautiful. Vinyasa, either coming down through the knees or working down through Chaturanga. Inhaling, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful stuff, okay. Grounding back into your downward facing dog. Maybe again, taking that bend through the knees, lengthening through the spine and then starting to straighten the legs and just seeing where you get to. Sweep the left leg up into the sky, open hips, square shoulders. Option to bend that top knee. Keep breathing here. On an inhale, step the left foot between the hands, open that left arm up to the sky, easy twist. Beautiful. Inhale, and then exhale, drop right hip for our revolve skandhasana. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, release. Inhale up. Exhale, release. Beautiful. Inhale up. And then place that left hand down, heel toe the foot into the center again. Come up into your high lunge. Now remember to stay deep into that lunge. Take a moment here to breathe. Right arm goes forwards, left arm goes back. Can you gaze behind you? Inhale, lengthen through the torso. Exhale, move a little deeper into the twist. And then from here, softly float that left hand down onto the back leg. Right arm reaches up into the sky for our revolved reverse warrior. Maybe gazing down to the floor behind you or taking that gaze up into the sky. And then windmill those arms all the way over. Heel toe, left foot out to the side. Drop the back knee down, finding our lizard. So again, either staying up on the hands or bringing it all the way down onto the forearms. Wherever you end up being, just taking that little side to side movement. Option to close the eyes. And then placing that left hand onto the left knee, looking up to the sky again. 
And either staying here, which is a beautiful place to stay, or heel toe that foot in slightly. Shuffle that left shoulder underneath the left knee. Pick up the, left, the back knee and then float the arms out to the side. Breathing here wherever you are. And then slowly placing both hands down. Heel toe the, the left foot to center. Drop the back knee down. Ardha Hanumanasana half split. So, so the left foot is flexed. We're drawing the left hip into the body. Inhale, find length. Exhale, maybe coming into a little forward fold. No worries if you can't. Just checking in with you today. How is your body feeling? What is it asking for today? One more breath here. Okay, from here we're gonna power through the legs and come to that left side standing split. Push it all the way up, drop the head down, right leg floats up into the sky. Maybe from here you reach the left hand around the left ankle. Just an option, no worries. You're just taking your leg up as high as you can. It does not need to be in a full split or anywhere near it for that matter. Two more breaths. And then gently placing that right foot all the way down behind you. Drop the right knee down and come back to that low lunge. So draw away from the stretch first. Take the arms all the way up. Switch everything on. So glutes, adductors, core is lifting. Then move into the stretch. Maybe taking the gaze up to the sky or up to the thumbs. And then either staying here for three more breaths or taking the right hand down next to the left foot and drawing that back knee in for a little extra stretch. This is just an option. You do not have to take this option. And wherever you're at, slowly releasing, both hands come down to the mat. Step it back to high plank, hold here. Let's take those circles again. This time four going each way. For two, for three, and for four, going the other way. Four, three, two, and one. Beautiful vinyasa. Either drop the knees down and come all the way down or take it through chaturanga. Upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful. On your next inhale, you're gonna step or float your feet all the way through and come down to seated in whatever graceful way you would like. I'm gonna take the leg, left leg out long. The right knee is gonna come over the top of the left leg. Now, here is your base. If you would like to take it deeper, then you're also gonna wrap that left leg in as well, but you do not have to take this variation. This would be like a half gomakasana. If not, you could just keep that left leg straight, okay? So wherever you're at, we're gonna work into a forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, and then exhale. Work it forwards, close the eyes. Another four more breaths here. Really make those breaths count. Really think about what it is that you're doing. And then lifting all the way up. 
So no matter where you are, we're going to then take a twist from here. Your right arm's going to come behind you. Inhale, left arm reaches up, and then you're going to place that left hand on the, le on the right knee, sorry, and gaze behind. Inhale, length. Exhale, twist. Another breath here, inhale, find that length. Exhale, can you move even deeper into the twist? And then slowly unravel, maybe taking a little baby counter twist, and then release the legs no matter where they are, come to find Navasana holding here. Option to take the legs up, the arms up if you wanna make it a little bit stronger. And then wherever you're at, either holding or slowly lowering down to a couple of inches off the mat and then lifting back to Navasana. One more time, slowly lower it down and then bring it up. Beautiful, okay. Right leg goes down, left leg goes over the top and then the option of staying here or taking the double bent knee. So whichever option feels right for you. Inhale for that length, and then exhale, walk those hands forward, close the eyes. Breathing here. One more breath. And then walking those hands in, we're gonna take the twist again. So left hand behind, inhale, find length, right arm reaches up, and then the hand goes to that leg, and we find the twist. As always, inhale, finding length. Exhale, the depth. <laughs> inhale, length. Exhale, a little bit more of depth. And then slowly unraveling, little counter twist. Come back to find your Navasana. Your one last Navasana here. You're gonna bring the hands to heart center. And you're gonna tap them to the right, to the left, to the right and left. For five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Beautiful, hug those knees in. And then bring yourself down all the way onto your back. Okay, so grabbing either a block or a cushion or a bolster. My block has gone walkies, so I'm gonna use my bolster. And we're gonna come up into a supported half bridge. So as you inhale, you're gonna lift the hips. And then you're gonna slide whatever it is that you want underneath those hips. And then just close the eyes. Palms of the hands can go upwards. And just take a few breaths to melt into this. It doesn't need to be a super intense variation of the pose as we're winding out of the practice now, just taking a bit more of a restorative stance on our postures. Another four breaths here. Keep those eyes closed. Allow your gaze to explore you as opposed to the outside world.
And then slowly moving your block, your bolster, your cushion, whatever you had away from you. Draw the knees towards the chest. And then we're going to come into a little supine twist. So arms go out into T-shape or out to the sides. Drop the knees over to the left side. Head goes over to the right. And you can intensify the stretch by taking any little leg variation that you wish. And wherever you're at, really just feeling with the breath, the side body, cracking open, stretching to create space. Create space for us physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, all of the space being created through our practice. And whether or not you believe that side of things, if you're here just for the stretch and for the physical, that's okay. Just know that there is so much more to this practice than maybe you've delved into just yet. But it's awesome that you are here and that you are enjoying yoga no matter what. Bringing those knees back through center and we'll take them over to the other side. So knees drop to the right, head to the left. And again, we can just take that little hook of the legs and allow that to just intensify the stretch slightly. Stay connected to your breath. Again, allowing the gaze to explore you. Three more breaths here. And then drawing those knees back through center. Mm, hug the knees into the chest. Take a little rock side to side. And then start to rock forwards and backwards. Bring yourself all the way up to a comfortable seated position. And we're just going to take a moment to ground here and to finish our practice right here. So feeling all the parts of your body connecting to your mat right now. So your bottom, side of your thighs, the side of the ankles. Close your eyes and just place the palms face down onto your knees. See if you can feel or visualize energy rising up and out through the earth, nourishing you, growing and lifting you taller and taller, up and out through the crown of the head, that beautiful posture. Take a big shoulder roll going back. And then taking a moment to feel grateful. Grateful for two things. Firstly, for the earth, allowing us to walk upon it, allowing us to feed and thrive upon its energy. And then to yourself, yourself for showing up today, physically, mentally, emotionally, arriving on your yoga mat and just doing the best that you could for yourself on this day. And just sit with that feeling of gratitude for a moment longer. Place one hand on top of the other over the heart and we'll seal our practice with one releasing breath. Inhale. <sighs> Palms together. Namaste. 
Thank you so much for joining me on or in this flow. Um, I hope that you join me again for more practices. There are so many on my channel, so go have a rummage around, find some practices that you like. And of course, like I said, I have my Soul Sanctuary membership. You get four new practices every month. That's two 60 minute practices, two 30 minute practices. You get a guided meditation, a movement breakdown where we look at the technique and the alignment of the asana, and then also also the access to our members page on Facebook, which is the most beautiful corner of the internet, if I do say so myself. And on top of all of that, if you join, you get access to the whole archive. And there are around about 100 flows for you to choose from. So I assure you that you will not be bored. So if it's yoga at home that you're looking for, I have got you covered. The link is below. If you just go to catmethan.com, you will find everything you need. Thank you so much for watching and flowing with me. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye-bye.